I'm ready to make the pancakes and really there is no formula here. I'm using some homemade self-raising flour because mine is finished. So I'll just use normal flour, about two cups, two to three cups, and then I add a bit of baking powder. That makes it self-raising. And then I'm using some sugar, vanilla. I have to finish this yogurt because it's been in the fridge for a while. It's a homemade yogurt. It needs to get finished. So I'll use that instead of milk or water. And then also we have gotten some cream from our milk that we just boiled. Now I'm just let me just add it in there. The difference is the same. Then I have some eggs and I have some butter and I have melted butter and I have some salt. Because it's the ultra special pancakes, I'm going to put in a few raisins that I have left over and some chocolate chips. Boom! Let's do this quickly. By the way, this one I don't even measure per se. I just rely on my, my good eyesight. But uh, let me try and give it some sort of measurements. You tweak them as you want. So I'll put three cups because we are a large family and we love to eat. And then also a pinch of salt. Salt makes everything taste better apparently. And then I'll put some baking powder because this is not... By the way, these are the real pancakes. I'm, I'm making American pancakes, not crepes that we call pancakes here. Okay, maybe I'm putting a little bit too much. That's enough. About one teaspoon. And then also I will put in our sugar. Now, American pancakes normally call for less sugar, but that's because they use syrup. Oh, yeah, we have syrup, so I don't know. Just do as much sweetness as you feel your heart needs. All right, so those are my dry ingredients. I'm tempted to add cinnamon, but nah. It's okay, I'll just make it the way it is. So for my wet ingredients, we have our three eggs. Yes. Mm -mm. And then we'll put in our cream. We just got it like from the milk like right now. I used to store this cream, but then I realized it was just going bad in the fridge. So I use it at the first chance I get. Our melted butter. Okay, I melted a bit too enthusiastically. It's quite a bit. And then our vanilla essence. By the way, I tried to find vanilla extract. If you know where we can find vanilla extract, not essence, please let her sister know. And then I'm just totally eyeballing this yogurt. That's gotta be enough. Lie shoe. Okay. Beat this up nice and truly. And then we just pour it into our flour or dry ingredients and we start cooking. Our help is here. Our day bag, that is. Yay, help is on the way. Hi, guys. So it's the start of a new day and another day without the help. Now, you know, as guys, we don't uh, suffer or struggle with that here because we have systems. However, a girl has been working. In fact, I just came in from work. It's now exactly 8.30 a.m. Normally, if the help was here, I would find, I would have found breakfast ready, kids eating, when I'd have jumped straight into bed for like two hours just to, you know, to, 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 to survive. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm so sleepy. <laughs> okay, I'm not really that sleepy, but I'm a bit sleepy. So now she's not here. So what's a girl to do? I need to figure out what we're having for breakfast. I've been away for like three days. I had to travel for work. So my amazing, amazing husband plus cameraman plus everything in my life has been giving the kids breakfast, which is mostly only Weetabix because that's, it's easy to make. 
So the first thing the kids did when I walked in, they were like, oh, we came at the end of the week. We want a Christmas breakfast. Christmas breakfast. Hey. So anywho, uh, my brush is dying. So anyway, I promise them they can just have one bit of big biscuit with some milk just to keep them going. I'm going to make some pancakes for them. Another thing I did because I figured I would need help. I've called her a day back to come today, so she's on the way. And after testing, I've noticed maybe I might not have put enough baking powder. Hey, see my life. Oh. Why this? And it's so tricky by the way to add baking powder to what you call it. After you've already added your wet ingredients, but who am I? Whom am I? I did try because now oh, are you going to have flat pancakes that are not crepes? What is this, man? Ah, hmm? this is sabotage. Look, can you see? It's completely not cooked on the inside. Man, look at this. Wasted all my raisins too. Huh? Uh -huh. Can I just pick up the raisins and eat them? And my nice chocolate chips. Come on, man. Let's see how the other one behaves. So when you see your pancakes start bubbling on top, that means it's rising well, okay? That means the, um, it's getting cooked through and through. If you just said it's just flat and nothing is happening on the top, my sister, you have been conned. You have been conned. So in the meantime, I'm also, I've decided to put another, this pan that my mom bought for me, so we can speed up this process. And somebody tell me why my pan is starting to turn brown. It was not like this when we started the journey. Eh? Yeah, so let's flip this. Ah! I took too long explaining to you guys. This is not the true representation of my cooking skills. Why are they burning? But let me show you. I had done this before. So can you see? Can you tell the difference between this one and the first one? You can see it's cooked through and through, eh? That's what we want, man. So let me reduce this fire. Stop embarrassing myself on social media. Oh yeah! That's how we do it, man. That's how we do it, man. No burning here. No burning. So I think going with two pans for those pancakes was a brilliant idea because I'm done. Incidentally, they came out so few. I don't know why. Just 10. I mean, they're 10 giant pancakes, but still just 10. So I'm making some hot chocolate for the kiddos. Then in the next fire, I'll do tea. So for the hot chocolate, it's mostly, mostly milk, a splash of water. For the teas the other way around, mostly what a splash of milk. <laughs> so I think that's enough for them. And then I also need to chop up some uh, arrow roots and sweet potatoes so that um, for the people who don't want to eat pancakes or for the grown-ups, they have an option of sweet potatoes and arrow roots. Nowadays, I like to have those in my fridge because they really make sense. So I'll, I'll, warm, them in the, I'll warm them in the oven as the rest, as the teas are cooking. 
My hot cocoa board is ready. African style. This is how we do it here, man. <laughs> so I've cut up some oranges here for vitamins. And then I have some peanuts because there's nothing sweeter than roasted peanuts and hot chocolate, sweet hot chocolate. I dare you to tell me otherwise. Uh -huh. Then here I have marshmallows for our hot cocoa because you know they just go well together then my array of pancakes as you will see i have omitted the ones that are blacker than black because you know aesthetics and all that jazz ain't nobody want to say this everybody wants to see this instagram worthy spread okay yes yeah, so we'll just pretend those ones did not happen and then i have my my sweet potatoes and my arrow roots together for those who do not live here otherwise known as doma and guashi yes and then here we have the hot chocolate you see i listen to you guys and stop serving hot chocolate in plastic cups yeah you all just you know you call me you call me people are hungry over here so let's eat this So we already have a load of laundry going, which is so fantastic. As always, you know how much I love our laundry whatevers. Oh, this is empty. Oh, this is the empty one. Oh yeah, that's a full one. Yeah. So I will link all this down below in case you're interested. Oh, apart from the OxyClean, but you can get some Tide Pods and Stopper Balls. Tide, okay, if you need Tide for kids who have eczema or whatever issues, for sensitive, or for babies, let me know. I'll get, I'll get one for you. But yeah, that's going on. So we are done with breakfast and it's loud in here guys are watching cartoons we are what we are fetching water from the laundry area uh the washer has finished washing so i need to go hang and put the next load which is our helps bedding which was uh, it's a great idea we try to do it when she leaves we clean her blankets her okay we clean up her, 
her bed sheets often but the blankets uh once once every six months or so so i need to put those in the washer i'll show you shortly say hi to my grandbaby yeah i got two of our christmas twins lovely <laughs> I hope you watched that video. Now, what I want to do is I want to wash dishes here. Uh, and then uh, our helper is upstairs cleaning the rooms for me. The kids' room, the classroom, and the office. I'll clean our room. And then I want to make lunch. Because I want to leave these guys eating. I need to dash to the salon. Because you guys, of course you can see my hair is a full-blown afro as it is. And then also my nails. Oh my gosh. Like, can you even... These are even the better ones. Let me show you the other ones. Can you see? Hold on. Hey, something like that. I know. Look. When did this phone don't focus? Okay, just know they're bad. Like, very, very bad. So I want to finish the washing up part and then I dash while I have someone to sort of like help me over here. Go get that done and then I'll come back and go on with the rest of the day. Because I only have one day off and I have so much to do. So my sink is about as shiny as my face, yeah, but the one thing I will not do is to put out those dishes because time, I need to go, I need to go, go, go to the, to the, not to the gym, I don't know why I'm almost thinking going to the gym, I need to go to the salon to get this done with while I still have help, then come back in time for dinner, also my fridge, ooh, experiments you open like this there's a smell that just hits you we'll deal with that when you deal with that in the meantime it's lunch time and <laughs> thank god for freezer meals so i pulled out these uh lentils from our freezer we shall not discuss my cooking pot again one day when i grow up you guys eh? watch this space meanwhile it cooks that's all that matters. So I have this lentil, lentil stew. I was going to buy some rice, but then as I was looking through my stinking fridge, I saw these buns that we bought a couple of Sundays ago. We haven't used them. And that's because we were supposed to make sandwiches with them on a certain Sunday. 
Then uh, my amazing husband decided to treat us to lunch after we had already bought. So we just stashed them in the fridge. They kept being pushed back to the edge, to the back. They were forgotten. So the kids will have lentils and and bread. <laughs> they will not have greens. They'll have greens for dinner because one, I'm running late. Two, because here lunch is just for survival. Dinner and breakfast is where it's at. Okay? So let me go take a shower because they're saying they're still full from the pancakes. Take a shower, get ready. Then just before I leave, I serve them and I leave them eating as I go and hopefully come back in like two hours. Fingers crossed. I don't, even, I don't even know if that place is open, but yeah, that's it. I'm very proud of my kitchen. My house is getting spruced up as we speak. I'm back from the salon with my nice neat hair, my nice neat eyebrows, my beautiful toes, and my pretty nails. Yeah, they're also pretty short, but you know what? It is what it is, man. So for dinner, <laughs> thank God for freezer meals, because I got here at, it is now 12 minutes to 8. We normally have dinner at 6. It's a holiday season and all that. So we are having beef stew that was from a freezer and cabbage was in the fridge. I was hoping to make ugali, but people vetoed that idea. Somehow I feel like ugali, beef stew goes better with ugali. Any type of meat goes better with ugali. I love ugali so much, but people have shot down that idea. They want rice. So now I have rice cooking. Uh, the cabbage has already warmed and the beef stew is warming. Yay, then I'll be ready in 15 minutes. Praise the Lord for free the meals. it guys it has been quite an interesting time by ourselves and we've, we've really enjoyed honestly sometimes it's nice to just be like us and the family however i was also very very busy during the month of december i mean work was like this so i'll be tired but thankfully um our help is now back i didn't manage to clean the fridge but well that's why we need help because she's already done it for me let me just show you what a good job she did. So I'm telling you guys, this fridge is a huge, huge improvement for how it was. All the rotting things have, <laughs> have been shown the door. And it is well now. We are happy. We are happy, happy campers. So thank God for help. Let me know down below whether yours came back and or how that is going. Because we all know the drama just starts. Uh, the freezer, maybe we need to do a bit more. Actually, no, she cleaned it. was really bad. Oh, my gosh. Thank goodness. And here, by the way, let me show you guys this. We got this wonderful fridge magnet. Imagine this whole thing is a fridge magnet. All of it. We were given by precious gifts. 
so they do sort of different types of gifts if you want and they can print this for you and they can write whatever it is you want here i'm going to link them down below because we really love this we love the vase we love this so they can design for you a fridge magnet with whatever wordings you want love this, this is a great gift so yeah so it's going to be a wonderful year i believe with all our help if you are having issues i have an entire playlist on just how to handle them and how to get a nice one how to keep them if you want to get rid of one how to do it and all that so in case you're interested i'm going to link it right here and or watch any other video on this channel so much to learn and i will see you over there bye